Hinduism. As you see from today's title, this is something that I've never done on my channel before. Usually, every period related video is catered to the women and the men usually skip through it. But this is for the both of you. For the men because I want to help them understand what exactly is this phenomenon periods and to help them understand how it actually feels and for the women to have a good laugh. So women, if you're sitting alone, go grab a man and give him a subtle education. So I'm pretty sure as guys you've not experienced it and which is why I will be using everyday scenarios and references to help you understand exactly what it is without using the danger words vagina, uterus and blood. Okay? So let's understand how periods start. Okay? From the beginning. <laughs> For some of the blessed people, it comes on time. It is very punctual. Unlike the other peasants who <laughs> have not been blessed at all, it comes like a day or two after based on how your month has been. While we wish there was a notification to tell us when it's going to start, we kind of understand when it's about to start. And no, I'm not talking about the biological process. It is something more internal. Okay? Imagine. You're in a very important meeting with your superiors and now you're called to present a slide, okay? I don't know how your office functions, but uh, j just go with the flow, okay? And you are asked to present a slide. As you're getting up to present, you suddenly feel like you've lost control of your bladder and you accidentally pee yourself. As scary as it is, you still have to go ahead with the meeting and present and you can't excuse yourself. To deal with this, you hit at your colleague and ask them to using hints to check your backside and they give you the thumbs up of approval and you kill it at the presentation and then you go ahead and sort your period problem this is a scary situation but this is kind of how it feels and i did not use any blood references did you see did you see i'm a genius so now that your period has begun let me tell you what it reminds me of it is kind of that monthly guest who keeps coming to your house but not alone it gets with it its own family of annoying members. Let's get to know these members as well. Shall we? Have you seen the movie Shrek? I'm pretty sure at least you know how he looks like. Okay? Some part during the movie, he turns into this very handsome prince. Bloating is the opposite of that. You sleep as a handsome prince and you wake up as Shrek. Something about your body and your face is like off. You can't pinpoint it, but there's like something off about it. And you're not like anything you wear, it makes you look like you come from the swamps. Okay? Now moving on to the mood scenes. There are going to be a lot of movie references in the video. So bear with me. Okay? And men, I hope you're still paying attention. Okay? Don't be try to like sneak away or turn on your selective hearing and not hear me. I'm, I'm some more important thing. If you've seen the movie Split or more recently Glass, you are pretty aware of how quickly Kevin's personality changes. Imagine this, instead of personalities, it's the mood. Basically, during our periods, the bucket of fucks that we girls have is basically empty and we are too tired to refill. Our moods are like the Mumbai monsoon. It starts off as this beautiful clear sky morning and the slightest inconvenience it's 26 July ka floods, okay? Next relative is cramps and back pain. I'm pretty sure all of you have heard about cramps and back pain and all the women complaining about it. And you think that this is a minor pain. Let me explain it to you. You used, everyone has used a earphone or your, yeah, your phones where either you have to hold them at a particular angle to make them work or only one earpiece works. And to use that, you have to hold it at this 135 degree pointing towards the north, northwest side, all of that. Imagine you have to keep your body at that angle to be able to sit properly. I am not even kidding. We have to literally contour, like Ramdev Baba is our inspiration. We have to legit do yoga to find out that particular angle where your cramps and your back pain they kind of balance each other out and it doesn't hurt you know it's basically the sweet spot between the two and you know at this point i kind of wish i had paid attention during geometry class 
because the only theorem I remember is the Pythagoras theorem a square plus b square is equal to c square and I think knowing geometry more would have helped me figure out this angle but nothing can help me anymore next next relative is cravings and I'm pretty sure this is also a relative that guys are also kind of affected with like of course there are people girls in your life who must have demanded certain things let me explain to you why this is so important so do you know how in Ramayana Hanuman was sent to look for Sanjeevni booty to save Lakshman's life so I said booty don't giggle okay I know you're giggling there I know it so basically in this scenario based on all the above problems that we are going through and the pain and torture that we are dealing with our body believes that the craving that we have currently is our Sanjeevni booty and the only way to deal with this pain imagine during this thing and your Sanjeevni booty the quest for Sanjeevni booty somebody in your life has the audacity to say ki kya Sanjeevni booty dhoond rai ho koi bhi khas utha ke laga lo aray I am craving Sanjeevni booty Sanjeevni booty can save my life don't try to chip cow random ghas to me okay at this point, do, don't you think my anger is justified? Like, no. Like, I mean, yeah, like my anger is justified. So the next time your friend, girlfriend, colleague, sister, mother, anybody is going through her periods, be a little sensitive. Do not pass sexist comments and steer clear of her until you have her Sanjeevni booty. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video and share it with the humans around you who need this enlightenment. Until next time humans, see ya! Bye bye!